Hello everyone and welcome to my first lessons learned video for this channel. I'll be discussing some of the mistakes I've made on my first propane burner build shown here on the screen. So lesson number one, what is galvanized steel? That is the question that I should have asked myself before starting the build itself. But the, the reason I chose steel was that it has a higher melting point than the metals I'll be working with, mainly aluminum and copper. So I thought that it was a good choice to go with steel, but I did not know what the galvanized part was. I still went ahead and bought the, the reducer and the nipple that I used for the, the build and got the build everything done as you can see in the video but on the making of a second video where I was going to test how hot it could get I started to get some fumes coming out of my forge or my furnace without any metal or anything in there it was just bare and started to get some fumes and so I cut off the, the fuel supply of propane and opened it up to see what what was going on in there and I saw that the fumes were coming from the the burner so I let it cool down before pulling it out once I did pull it out I saw that there was some yellowish stains and some white residue at the at the tip of the burner. So I put that aside and went to to my computer to get that unknown out of the way, which was the galvanized part. So once I opened up Google and typed in what is galvanized metal or galvanized steel definition from corrosionpedia describes it as a, a metal that has undergone the galvanizing process which is a the addition of a coating for corrosion protection which is coated with zinc this prevents it from from rusting when exposed to the elements from other videos I've seen about melting metals, I think comes up as one of the poisonous fumes one. So that got me, got my attention to do a little bit more research on it and think has a melting point of 787, which I was well above that in the test I was performing. So, next thing I, I did is what can happen to you with the exposure of the fume. And I came up with this document from Lincoln Electric. And it's titled Metal Fume Fever, which is an illness that is caused by the exposure of zinc in your workplace or work area. So the main cause from this is inhaling the fumes either by welding that material, cutting it or brazing it. And in my case, I was using it to heat up my furnace and temperatures are extremely high. And that caused the, the metal to start melting, the coat to start melting off. So I, I don't want to expose you guys to that issue so i wanted to to correct it and give you some information on it so if you are in the case of overexposure you will experience some flu-like illnesses or symptoms which consist of headache fever chills muscle aches thirst nausea vomit chest sores fatigue weakness and tiredness so you 
they will happen a, a few hours after your exposure and usually you overcome it within 48 hours but all of this could be prevented and don't want any of you guys to be in harm's way so the the number one way to prevent this is to use a different type of metal for the nipple uh, I've seen most of the other videos using black steel so you, that's a, another alternative and probably the best option to just switch out the, the galvanized parts and go with the black iron the second option I would recommend is to remove the galvanized part of the steel this could be done a few ways that I found people doing it on YouTube one of them was using muriatic acid which I will attempt and show you guys in a video coming up the second one was using vinegar which took a couple of days to do compared to the muriatic acid that took a few seconds a few minutes but that also exposes you to the fumes which is why it's second on the list the third one third option would be to burn off the the coat completely but again you're you're being exposed to to those fumes directly So that that's one of the well that's the biggest lesson learned from here is understanding what galvanized metal is which it's a sink coating to prevent it from rusting which is a, a good thing but not in this case where you're gonna burn it and have the fumes exposed to you So that's the number two from this build is, as you can see, back on this picture of the, of the video, you can notice the cap part is not perfectly straight, even though the, the MIG tip the, and the valves and other fittings line up straight. I was still able to correct that, little, that minor error, but I wanted to fix the issue from the source was which was tapping this hole crooked so the the issue is how do i make that tap straighter or straight and i came up to this simple video where you just use a, a square to line up your your tap perpendicular to your surface using a square to make sure that your tap is straight because what you don't want is a an all that's not straight because it is possible to tap an all and actually have the threads on a slight angle which you don't want so once you confirm that it's straight so it's uh, as simple as that just have a, a flat surface that you can put your square on make sure that it's straight and be perpendicular with your your tap so those are the the two main issues i ran into this build wanted to share that experience with you and keep you away from harm's way from the first lesson which was the the zinc fumes which are poisonous and harmful to you and the uh, straightening out the taps which will help me on future builds and get a better finalized product thank you guys for watching the video and see you on the next lessons learned